Incoming! There we go. Good morning and welcome. This is DDO Stream, episode 86. How is everybody this morning? I will be doing a 500 DDO point giveaway today. So let me get that loaded in just a minute. So as I finish pouring this cup of coffee. Good morning, Wild West. All right, let me shrink this for a minute, bring up Visual Studio, and get the DDO code giveaway application that I created going. Let's um yeah, that froze that up. I gotta wait for this to come back. Come on, release my screen.
sometimes it does this and sometimes it doesn't. Come on. There we go. Got it to break free. All right, so. I got an area of my screen. I didn't get what I wanted. Let's try this again. There we go. Now I got what I wanted. We're going to do 500 DDO points. Let's go with 15 viewers needed today. And the first viewer that said anything in chat is... um. Wild West was. I'm going to save this as episode 86. Excellent. So if you're in chat, say something in either channel. Say something in the video stream channel or say something in my personal channel. And I will help you get set up. Oh. Okay, so I have to set that up for that. Okay that later excellent put my phone away I was using it to check chat while the screen was froze up let's um take a look at our recent changes good morning Bach B A C H L A G O R E moderator add boom 2 of 15 I thought I saw Purple Skull Gaming, but I haven't seen anything since the stream started. So, if you're there, say hi. Shoes on. Alright, so DDO stream we were on last week and worked on that stuff. Um, sentient weapons. We moved something, did some category stuff. Template instant delete changes. Alright. Trying to remember what we were working on. <clears throat> Not too much, it looks like. So, false life. Looks like it's had some chat. Dumb it old bull wrappings. Let's take a look at that. User talk, I got cleared for crew. Sickles. Um, sentient weapon base item talk page. Let's take a look at that talk page. Let's see if we can find something to do there. Template talk mythic. Got a little bit of chat. Elemental gem, got a little bit of chat. Uh, let's see here. A lot of update 37 stuff, which kind of made me sad. Um, but we'll get into that later. Looks like Rain re replaced her user page. Which we might have to fix that. 
Oh, let's see here. Ah. So we need to restore that because the user staff and the edit award need to be there. Their categorization purposes. And she's up to 63 edits now. We'll do an undo and update the edit award for 63. This junk still needs to be here for categorization. Update 37 named items, got some chat. Take a look at that. Ooh, new section on JJ's page. We'll take a look at that. I haven't seen that yet. Barovia map. Take a look at that. User talk, spam block. Uh, lots of new categories for levels of items like Wisdom 19, Spot 12 and 22, etc. Excellent, lots of new items from Update 37. Block, template misc effects, assassinate, fear gaze, update 37, spam block, template save. What's this? Oh, saves. Okay, yep. Sealed in amber, new page. We can take a look at that one. Also, the Artificer upgrade. We've got some spell focus uh, updates. Very busy week. New items, updates for spell focus. That probably could have been botted, but whatever. Bunch of new categories. Named weapons by type. Okay, so just spell focus stuff there. Talk resistance enhancement. Nothing there. Template spell focus. Ah. Deprecate the, the one word one for the two word one. Okay. Creating a bunch of conjuration focus items. Good. Getting there, we're almost to the top. To new categories, excellent. Solutions. Okay, I think we're almost there. Oh, Sumta. Need to welcome them to the wiki. Update 37 named items talk page. Um, already have that one open. Got picks, what now? Okay, so that'll be underneath whatever we have there. And forced escaped. All right, so that's all of our recent changes. Let's take a look through some stuff here. All right. Um, all 
Where'd Twitch go? Right there. Okay. Let me take a look at this, actually. I think I'm in his chat. And it's just S-U-M-T-A. Okay. So it is just S-U-M-T-A. There we go. So now it's a link to his Twitch page for him. This guide does not reflect that a number of quest items are located in random locations. Let's go down here. Don't use the monster section anymore. All right, so save page. All right, so we'll do that. Okay, respawn to that. Quest item pages are created with the appropriate drop location. They'll show up here. Excellent, so that, that one's all set. We don't have Barovia map, the land of Barovia without leaving a redirect. Okay, let's go over there. 
Not much of a wiki editor, but I took screenshots of Barovia and stitched them together. I uploaded three sizes, but we'll defer to some better at maps. To add points of interest, I can provide the original GIMP or a cleaner PNG. No reason to have three sizes. Only need to have the largest sizes, and the wiki will resize it. But okay, I'm not gonna bother with it. Not worth additional time. Um, Curse of Straw. That must be the new section. I don't know how to make a page for this. We didn't new Raiden with Strahd. At exception, you well geared and prepared players. When a normal had over 70 death, t raid is tough. Of course, we're, we were learning it, so that contributes to death. We had red joints as the main tank. His build is stupidly durable. Pure over to War warlock, bell power, and 11 run and full. He died a lot. Everyone did. I need to include the following information for others. Unsigned by Zeraphim, Curse of Strahd created. Thanks, crew. Zeraphim, you can update as needed. Need to report game bugs here. Thought I had a template for that. What does bug do? Just displays it as a bug. I'm pretty sure there's a section for ID numbers, ticket numbers, if ticket. Yeah, whatever. Okay, update 37 named items, got picks. How, how do you want to organize item legendary? You have to simply match items to quests. Got picks now. What now? A few items with missing pages. I could provide pages. How should I do it? Item description screenshots look best when 420 pixels wide. Proper name is exact name of item.png. Ideal format is PNG. On the left side of the wiki, expand page toolbox and click upload. Select your file using the brown button, natural licensing, specify screenshot from Ninja Dragons Online, upload. You can then start creating item pages. Okay. Ideally, you should create the item page first and set the Actually, I can do Parameter pick description. To
Oop, I forgot to put in my closing no wiki. I forgot to put in the substitute. Upload your image to the correct spot. All right, so I hope that helps them. Ideally, you should create the item page first with the appropriate links, then use the links to upload. As far as creating the images goes, you should crop it to 420px wider or wider. Someone can always go back and trim it. It's harder to add blank space behind it. Not impossible, just it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt. Um, you should never stretch or resize the image if you don't have to. Don't worry about the 300 KB large image size warning. Just keep it under the two megabyte file size limit. All right, let me take a preview of that. I don't want to use param, I want to use para on those. That's why I wanted to preview it first. Okay. Save. Pick subs page name shown and pick description sub page name PNG. You can then click on the red links created on the item page to upload your image to the correct place. First, create a image. Good. Perfect. Moving on. Elemental gem. Disambiguation page with only one single entry to disambiguate. Makes a lot less sense than disambiguating blitz from blitz. Um, crew expected the original expectation back in 2011 was other varieties of elemental gem would exist, but he wasn't sure if they did. I've added a second elemental gem. There's more than one in the game. Um, Nim said they appear to be a rare drop. I just got my first one yesterday since I hit, just hit loot all in chest. They are not bound. I didn't get any notice and have no idea which quest it dropped in. But the snow elemental gem is not in the same category of item, if at all. It does not belong on the dis and big page. Snow elemental gem makes it a plausible search term meaning for elemental gem, even if it's not the meaning you think it should mean. It's no different than Blitz the, the ogre monster and Blitz the master's Blitz epic moment. Uh, they're different things, but they have the term elemental gem in them. So, all right, moving on. So far, we've only gotten two people to say hi this morning. Hmm. 
Template Talk Mythic. I'm going to rework this template tonight. <coughs> Never happened. That was six days ago. I want to make it so we can accept Ranger list to be able to specify one to three or two or four respectively. I'm under the impression all items have a chance of dropping Mythic now. Is this correct? Can somebody link me relevant dev posts on the topic from the forums, YouTube, Facebook, whatever? Thanks. In theory, the template does not need a parameter. Item slot largely determines what kind of bonus it provides and what the possible values are. See Mythic Boost. One exception to the rule is orbs, rune arms, and collars can appear with shield and or weapon boost. Another exception is that some TOEE gear may drop or used to drop with two Mythic bonuses, weapon and shield. What's possibly more important is that since update 34 items, almost everything can become mythic. This makes the template not useful. It's still useful. It's no different than any item can drop with, you know, an augment slot. But we don't put an augment slot on all of them. Um, any item can drop with a skill boost. But just because it can, any item can doesn't mean that we can't put a note there about what the levels of mythic are so not everything can drop with a mythic one to four option so we need to update what the possible values are and i actually think that that rework is going to be what we're going to work on today okay so Talk sentient weapon base item. While I don't remember the exact details, the wiki NCL function used to have per page limit, and I'm doing this kind of thing. And doing this kind of thing gave bad error. I managed to do this this time, but the page still gets quite choppy when refreshed. We need this list desperately for the update, anyways. And it's not as bad as bad DPL monster project page that we used to have in case the low gets high. Bad enough. If you can get this recorded with DPL, do so. Otherwise, we can split this page up. I kept tables modular for that purpose, while the row alignment really drives me nuts. Not quite sure what your goal is. What is exactly are you hoping to accomplish? Maybe Zab and I can help you out. Best way to chat is probably on our Discord chat server. So if you're not in the Discord chat server, pop in there. Um, DDO Wiki. And there's a link for it from Ubot, which you won't see in the DDO stream channel. There you go. Ubot's filtered, so you won't see it on stream. So we'll put it there. I wanted to do a um, page on what, what items can be used as, as fodder, but it's going to be a while before I can get the content through the DDO store, so... Whatever. Um, Superior False Life, uh, August, August 2000. Indomitable Wrappings. The Indomitable Wrappings introduced with the new myth Mimic Hunt reward list makes the format of this page obsolete, as that item provides False Life outside of the previous factors of five, which seem to be the prior rule. So update the page. This guy... Nim likes to complain a lot, of, a lot of things, but doesn't like to fix anything. So these things all still exist. It's not irrelevant. Um, hmm. I wonder why Epic False Life is showing up like that. But I'll need to take a look at that later. Because this page, I believe, is automatically populated via DPL. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Unique enhancement. Epic false life. Okay, so I gotta look at figure out why that's happening with that.
Hold on a second, I'm getting a phone call from the doctor's office. Alrighty, I'm back. Um, Alrighty. We might actually add that today as part of the stream. All right, so we got two things we want to work on today. Um, mythic, template mythic, and false life page. Um, let's do the mythic first. Let's check special pages real quick first. Is there anything here we need to do? What's wanted templates? There should never be a wanted template. One in categories is 14, that's reasonable. Double redirects and broken redirects are both zero, that's fine. Uncategorized categories is one, that should always be one. It should always be one. Um, the root category should never be categorized. Um, although that should be technically hidden, I would think. What is that one category? Root, okay, so yeah, that's fine. Putting it in any other category would cause a loop, be an issue. Um, one, there's one link to template spell focus. What's this? Robe of Acid. This was changed. Edit. Scroll down. I believe it's spell focus with a capital F. Fixed, okay. Excellent. So there's no longer an un a wanted template. Good. And the other ones we need to make some, some, some scripts for, but I don't want to do that on stream. So let's take a look at Mythic. Let's open up the template here. Let's open up Mythic Boost. Um, update 34 items. Let's do some reading here. Items. Most of them can be found in Name names and Reaper difficulty. Can Reaper bonus up some of 
may cause them to lose their mythic or reaper bonus. Okay. Because it's, it's, it's literally, when you upgrade older named items through a, a system, it literally destroys the old item and creates a new one. So you could take an item and upgrade it using the scroll shard and seal system, and it may gain a mythic or reaper bonus. Or, yeah, probably not reaper, but it may gain a reaper bonus. So, okay, so mythic bonus, mythic boost, let's see here. Mythic items are variant of names with additional power compared to the non-mythic versions. Mythic items are very rare and low difficulties and meant to be rewarding for running higher. Introduced in update 23, only some named items of the update had a mythic version. Update 25 introduced the mythic boost. An option enhancement that can appear on any named items of update 25 and later. Update 34 made mythic boost available on older items. Mythic boost is available of one to four. Higher bonuses may drop frequently on higher difficulties. Weapons, belts, gloves, rings, and trinkets grant mythic bonus to melee, ranged, and universal spell power. Armor, boots, bracers, uh, physical, and MMR, PRR, MMR. Orbs and run runums and collars can appear shield or weapon boost. Some TOE items can appear with two bonuses. Magnitude, weapons, armor, shields, two or four. Clothing and jewelry can have one or three. Okay. So, what I'm going to do I'm actually not going to edit template mythic here. I'm going to edit template named items. And as part of template named item, in the enhancements section, I'm going to add mythic. I'm going to do a switch Um, weapon, armor, shield. So switch one if it's What are the requirements? Weapons, armor, shield. So named weapon, armor, shield equals and clothing Jewelry and default equals going to add a mythic parameter that you can use to override the default of no mythic boost if it's not one of those things, such as a rune arm or whatever. Um, 
rune arm. I'm going to lowercase this. Okay, so I need to break this up some more. Weapon equals armor shield equals mythic armor two or four plus two or plus four. No, that one's a weapon. One or three. Armor. Wait, is it a shield? Armor boost, okay. Okay, so if it's a weapon, it can have mythic weapon two or four. If it's an armor or a shield, it can have mythic armor two or four. If it's clothing or jewelry, it can have mythic armor two or four. That needs to be split up too. So armor and clothing is armor, weapon and jewelry. Is a weapon. Okay, so this is gonna be So I want armor, then armor, then weapon. Okay, so like something like that. Now rune arm, orb, and collar. Rune arm, orb. equals can have a shield and or weapon boost and I'm gonna guess that it's a two or four or Let's find out how this looks. Actually, I want to add a little bit to it. I want to do an if equals Welcome back, Bach. Mythic Let's 
Zero, skip it, otherwise do this. If mythic is false, then skip it. Okay. Okay. So if I pick a couple items here, we'll, we'll do a few different ones here. So we got a shield, we got a weapon, we got an armor, we got a necklace, and some boots. That's just about everything, isn't it? Mythic 2 or 4. Okay, so I need to fix this. Show changes. Excellent. Show preview. Let's make it big. Save page, reload, 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 reload. Okay, Mythic Armor Boost 2 or 4. Weapon. Armor, weapon, armor, excellent, so it looks good to me. The only one I haven't done is a rune arm. Uh, let me find a rune arm here. Um, what's the name of a rune arm? Item, well, let's do category named Rune Arms. We'll grab one from here.
Yeah, we'll just go to the rear nine page. So we grab this DPL table isn't going to update right away. However, I should be able to purge it and make it update. Hey, Squee, welcome. Welcome to the show. Let me add you to the giveaway here. Although I don't expect we're going to end up with enough people to do the giveaway this week. We're only at 3 of 15, and we're already halfway into the stream. Um, but we'll add you anyway. I try to do a 500 DDO point giveaway almost every week. Some weeks we don't get enough viewers. Um, I usually announce at the end of the stream who wins, and then I announce what the um, viewer count expectation for the next week is going to be. So last week, the viewer count expectation was 10 viewers. This week it was 15, and that means not just people watching the show, but people that actually say hi in chat. You've got to say hi in chat to be entered. Um, it doesn't automatically enter you by being here. Excellent. Um, this DDO stream channel that you're watching is um, home to um, probably about a dozen streamers right now. So you'll be able to get a bunch of different flavors of, of gameplay. And you'll be able to... Um, See different different streamers. Good morning, Willis. Welcome to the stream. Say hi in chat. Let everybody know you're here. Willis is also another streamer. Um, I don't know if he's been streaming lately, but... Yes, yes, you did. All right. Uh, w I L L I S R E A L M. You might have even seen Slack in the bottom right corner. Excellent. 
Absolutely. Um, one of the streamers in this channel is um, Community Manager Cordovan himself. He streams on this channel on Wednesday and Friday. Um, so you should be able to... If you if you get in, get in soon enough, you can actually join him for the game. Uh, notifications drive me nuts. i got to clear this notification real quick. All right, so shrink this down and bring this back up. All right, so based on the term, uh, let me just edit this real quick. Why do I have a double do double dot there? Ah, that's why. Okay. Oh, yeah? Well, everybody give Squee a follow. You can catch them streaming. Maybe if you get into it, you can um, join the DDO stream team. Plenty of... Um, Plenty of openings on the, on the on the schedule, which we can take a look at real quick. And there's the schedule. We've got plenty of room on it if you'd like to join. Actually, that's an old schedule. Um, do I have the new one? Let me see if I have the new one. Desktop, DDO, stream, PNG, open... I don't know if this is the old one or a new one. Ignore warnings, upload. Oh, this is finished. Let's take a look at this. So it doesn't show up here. Let's take a look at one of the root arms. So it doesn't show up here, but there is an empty line for some reason on that one. Now that's an empty schedule. Shift reload. Oh, that's the old schedule. So I need to get the new schedule. Let me get the new schedule and we will upload that. Uh, pins. I believe this is the most recent one. Copy image URL, close this, close this, close this, bring this up. I don't know if I can do this or not. Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, let me do this real quick. Can I bring it up here? I'm going to need to authenticate. Racial Tome, I haven't heard about it yet. All right, so here is the new, new schedule. Save image as. Desktop. DDO stream JPEG. 
Save. Yes, overwrite. No longer need that. Okay, let's. Shrink this a minute. Uh, where the heck is it? Right here. Edit. Okay, so it didn't didn't come through properly. Let's try this again. There we go. I got it this time. All right, so here's the image. Stretch it out here. I'll zoom out a little bit. 2%. I guess I don't need to make it big then. We'll save as png studio stream png save yes replace it size is 1.8 megabytes which is under the 2 megabyte limit no longer need to do anything from that thank you for the follow on the ddo stream channel mardoon Go back, choose file, studio stream PNG, open. Doesn't want to open it, let's try again. And thank you, GP Fry Guy, for the follow on my channel. File, TDO, PNG, open, there we go. Thank you, Squee, for the follow on my channel. Thank you, Jomo Senpai, for the like on Twitter. There we go, there's the new schedule. So Sunday's almost completely open, except for late at night. Monday's almost completely open, except for a couple hours from 7 to 9. Yeah, delayed alerts. Um, Tuesdays have quite a few openings. Um, DDO Wiki Talk is 8 to 10, and then 10 to 3 is empty. Um, DDOPL is like 3 to 4 or 5, then stream stream goes on till whenever, like 2 in the morning. Um, early morning Wednesdays, probably not a good day to stream, unless you're going to do a late night thing after eight, after 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, yeah, after 7 or 8. Um, they do the restarts in the morning, which usually prevents early morning rage, although you can watch it on Sammy's Robo's channel directly, um, although it's not... Early morning rage if there's a restart going on. Uh, weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream with Cordovan. Um, that's on every week, just about. And DDO she has played with um, Gemini. Um, Thursdays, 
Yeah, kind of, kind of open. Um, Friday from 1 p.m. till 10 p.m. is open, and anything before noon is open. And Saturday is mostly open in the morning. So, there's plenty of open spots. Ah, I see. Um, we actually have a Google Calendar, too, although I don't believe it's been updated in a very, very long time. I should do that at some point. Um, that one's showing an empty line, too. All right, I'll need to fix that. Recent changes. So basically, it's all the times minus three, right? Plus three. Because we're four. So yeah, add three to all those times. Indeed. By generic Viagra. It's pretty good. I I I think it's funny. Let me let me spam nuke that real quick. Oh, yeah, you're on the other side. Okay, so let's go to uh, user creation. Spam. And let's delete the log of deleting the log of the page. I gotta fix that sometime. Hello. We got Haliana. At the five of fifteen. Still got forty minutes left on the stream. Yeah, we could get ten more. Fix that. Fault slide. I'll deal with that after. This is already done. Recent changes. Good. That's gone from there. Dump that page. Hide target. Vandalism is vandalism. There we go. Okay, so the thing down here was on template named item. Edit. Enhancements. All right, so Runarm Orb should be giving mythic armor to, so why is that not showing up? Oh. Well, what is a template for that? It says... Named... Uh, ah, so it's Rune Space Arm. That's why. I don't think we have a named orb, but whatever. Okay, so show preview. That should fix that. There we go. Mythic armor. There we go. Excellent. So that fixes all of those. So if I go back to the rune arm page, this page should actually be protected. Um, but I can't protect it on that account.
should be at least semi-protected. I'm going to change it to semi full. Important template, confirm. Okay, so now one of the things that you'll notice on the wiki is that there are a little purple die or there's a die next to your name if you're logged in or or even if you're not logged in there should be a die up here in the corner if it's a purple die that means the page is not protected you can actually click on the die and it will load a, a, a new tab that will take you to you know pages with no protection can be edited by any editor it'll take you to the protection page the purple die just takes you to the, the default protection policy page where you can see all of the different die um, so purple can be edited by any editor purple blue anybody can edit but only um, auto confirm people can move it purple red means anybody can edit but only admins can can move it blue purple means only um, auto-confirmed editors can edit, but anybody can move it. Blue die, for some reason, isn't showing up right here. Um, can only be edited or moved by auto-confirmed people. Blue red means that you have to be auto-confirmed to edit, but you have to be an admin to move it. It just goes up through. Anything that's red, is it, you need to be an administrator. Anything that's blue, you need to be auto-confirmed. Anything that's purple is open, fair game for anybody. The big section of the die, the top half, is edit. The little bottom section is move. And then black die means that nobody can um, edit or move it except administrators. Um, they're, they're actually a special use case. Um, pages in special namespace can only be modified by physically moving the media, media wiki extension PHP source code. It can be done by the host Zevo. All pages in the media wiki namespace are automatically protected, so only administrators can modify them. And use pages suffixed with um, user pages suffixed with .js and .css can only be edited by administrators or the owner of the namespace. This page right here is fully protected, which actually it probably doesn't need to be. So let me change the protection on that page. I can actually drop the protection level on that page. This page should be semi-protected for editing and full move protection. I don't know why I did that, but control shift restart, reload. Can't promote key change log. I'm not sure why that popped up. Protection. Auto confirm administrators. There's no reason that um, anybody that's auto that's trusted on the site shouldn't be able to edit it, and auto confirmed is a, is a level of trust. So there's no reason that regular editors that have edited added a certain number of, of um, made a certain amount of contributions shouldn't be able to. So black D20, why is black T20 not showing up? They show up in the preview. That's weird. Show up now. Huh. The reason they just didn't load. Okay. So anyway, that's what those little colored die up in the corner mean. So now it's semi-full protection, which means that 
Pages with semi-edit and full move protection can be edited by any auto-confirmed editor, but can only be moved by an administrator. So, and that's a cool little feature that I added. This is now semi-full as well. There's no reason that people should be editing that unless they're they know know something, unless they've been editing for a while. Rune arm should now be fixed. Oh, I hate refreshing this DPL, but let's let's refresh it anyway. Control Shift Reload. Then we'll do the false life thing. We still got half an hour left. While this reloads, I'm going to get a new cup of coffee. Or not. Oh, DPLs won't pull it up with the Mythic Boost. Because it's pulling information from the named thing template instead of the named item template. Hmm. Absolutely. Got to build our community. And that's part of building our community. Machination of Madness. I can get rid of the epic mythic weapon boost on that. Epic Arm of the Archons. That can be cleaned up. Regular Arm of the Archons can be cleaned up. Anything else here? You can have one or none of that can be cleaned up. There we go. Excellent. So we can edit, 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 edit. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Does it need the mythic weapon? 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 Save page, save page, save page, save page. Table update itself. Excellent. 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 All right, so let's work on false life. Page. Edit. Kenneth Crafting. Actually,
I wonder if, if anybody's gone through and actually figured out what the level for each effect is at each level. What the bonus. Make a table of, you know, at level 1, you get this bonus for this. At level 2, you get this much of a bonus for this. Hey, DDO Central, thank you for the retweet. And I see I got a friend request on Discord. Let me accept that real quick. All right, let's see here. Where was I? Mm. Oh. This so was actually part of the update 29 random loot changes. That's what I was looking for. Why was the, um, ah. Okay, so we're going to change that to update 29. Random loot overhaul. Um, let's take a look at this real quick. Indomitable wrappings. Um, apparently a bunch of these are actually missing. Let's look at level 12, Vault's Life 24. Um, so we actually don't have a category for that yet. So let's take a look at the template and have it add a category for that. So it uses HP Vault's Life 24. So let's look at the HP template. That's a lot of work. Um, false life plus number number. New section added. 
text THP needs to be adjusted to be able to include an Listing of items with the effect by value. Show preview. Save page. Oh, you have false life plus number number. As part of the update 29 random loot overhaul, named items can now drop with a false with false life with the numeric or based on excellent. I can go back to the talk page. I'm not going to edit that right now. I'm not going to edit that right now. Edit. Excellent. Perfect. So let's take a look at the named item template. Unique enchantment. That's the one I need to look at. Let's see if I can figure out why when there's only a single item in the category, it adds an, an extra space. Okay, if target, target, if school, school, if spell resistance, SR, spell resistance, effect, no effect defined, found on, found on pages and cat pages, items are zero, skip it, if there's no thing items, skip it, otherwise, Category using nice category lists, include only, space, pages and cat named items, pages. So, number, named items, thingy, if expression, named items is greater than five, add a line feed. Switch number of items if it's zero. Found is no items found. Either found or no items. If it's one, two, three, or five, then it should be one, two, three, four, or five, then it should be star DPL namespace item category name items format comma comma space star page title if it's six through nine then it should be a two column list if it's ten or more then it should be a three column list okay so what I need to figure out is in that category, found on one, so it says there's one item in there. Category listing. says there's one, so it knows there's one thing, PL, 
Okay, so I need to bump this down like this. If there's only one item in the page, then do this page title. All right, let's see if this fixes it. Or if it breaks everything, break it all. All right, so let's go back, back, false life, ugh. That doesn't fix it, it breaks everything. All right, so one item. Namespace, category, category, named items. Uh, page title should be the default answer, right? There we go, that fixes it. Excellent. even though it does put the I in front of it. Whatever, I can live with that. It's better than an empty line. I could probably fix it later, but whatever. So let's take an update recent changes. 15 minutes left of the stream. Is there anybody else watching that can say hello? Hello, hello. Hey, why does this show this? Interesting. Oh yeah, I wanted to show, show, showcase that. We'll do that too really quick. We still got 15 minutes left. All right, so where would, where did we start? Administrator notice board. Okay. So yesterday on the administrator notice board page of um, the DDO Wiki Discord. Um, S. Poyer created a page for Item Perfect Pinnacle and Soul of the Elements, unique effect held by that item. Can help anyone help me hook Soul of the Elements into Misc Effects? It's protected, and I'm not sure how I'd even make it work if it was not. So I used the bot to create a link to Soul of the Elements, which I'm going to modify that at some point. The bot should be logged in and actually doing searches and stuff to make sure that we get right stuff for that. But that's something totally different. Um, after looking at the, the effect, I asked, are there any other monk stance only effects? I'm thinking they should have their own template instead of being bolted into template misc effects that I'd like to deprecate. Um, they responded with, I do not know, there might be. I think maybe there's one from Diplomatic Impunity. So I came up with a category that I found, monk-related item enhancements, suggests that there are multiple monk stance-only effects. I was really, really busy at the time, so I let them know that I was busy. I might be slow responding. Um, they found an example, the JIDTEK. Tech. Yeah, I'm thinking they're shit on their own template. I'd make it so that it lists the effect that offers bullets for each of the four stances with an unhubbered detailed description of what you get from that stance. Something you'd like to try and create? They said, maybe. I need to read up on how wiki templates even work. 
I said feel free to ping advanced templating with questions in the tech chat channel if needed. So now we head over to tech chat. And they almost immediately, instead of trying to work on it a little bit, they almost immediately pinged <laughs> advanced templating and was like, I was told to ask about templating resources help. I want to learn how to make a template, but no, have no idea where to begin. I responded in there with pick an appropriate and easy to remember name for the template. Maybe template monk effect for your purpose. Design the template using exact information from your use case and make it look like you'd expect the end result to look. So literally copy the effect page and tweak it down into a collapsed format so that it would fit into that little box on an item page in this case. Wrap the text nodes, so any place that there's text that isn't like a default text that's going to be on everything, like specific details, with parameter quantifiers such as one. Uh, curly, 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 one, bang, whatever the text that you typed in was, curly, curly, curly. Come back here and mention advanced templating to take a look and offer suggestions. Then I pinged them and said that should take you a bit. They said they thought they understand to get this done eventually. Finally found the code part of MISC effects to use sort of a guide. I was looking for a no include when it was actually an only include. I said don't put any includes in at first. Includes are a complicated structure that you shouldn't be using when you're creating a template. They go in after the fact. Um, once the template is created and you know what you want it to look like, then you worry about includes so that you can make it look like that on other pages. Um, the effect should look like you'd expect it to look, a condensed version of soul of the elements that would fit into template named item type table cell provided for effects, i.e. this code block where it's effect name, pop-up, air stance details, earth stance details, fire stance details, water stance details, for example. That's how you'd want it to look. Once that is done, we can template Temp templatify it. They're like, oh boy, this particular goes deep, doesn't it? And I put the, the semi-full die up there, LOL. And then I pulled up their user, and they're auto-confirmed in VIP. You got VIP early, cool. So, when they were done, advanced templating, I've clearly done something wrong, I can get the template to echo some code, but I can't seem to get it to use the first segment argument usefully. Switch var1 soul of elements text here isn't outputting anything. That's because var1 isn't defined. Um, so it's not going to. And I assume that's because I made some syntax mistake, solved my own problem, thumbs up. So, um, where do we go from there? So they actually made a template, but I don't know where it went in there. Anyways, we go back and look at it here to find it. Um, they created template. Monk effect. And they also created monk effect. Ah, so that's a redirect. Okay. So this is what they created. Example, monk effect, soul of the elements, soul of the elements, beyond the soul of storm, beyond the soul of stone, beyond the soul of flame, beyond the soul of tide, coding, you censor this item grants you a bonus fitting on your current monk stance. Let's take a look at the coding. Let's actually edit the coding a little bit to make it look right. S-A-G-E... 
X A M P L E T L monk include only include okay that's fine pop ups pop up 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 okay pop up one while you're ascended this item grants a bonus depending on your current monk stance which one soul of the elements pop up these things they added the smalls like i suggested unhit 3d6 electrical damage uh i should probably use die I gotta make sure that I'm using die correctly. Three to 18 untyped damage. Okay, so it should be. It should be like that, I believe. Make sure that's right. Take a look at die and see if I can figure that out. Oh, so it should have the word damage in it. Ah, so it needs an empty space because it doesn't have a modifier. Okay, so that's what it is. So it should be 3d6. Lead damage. AC and reflex saves. Chance on hit blind and fear. Chance on hit trip. 10 insight bonus to jump. Actually, I don't know how that's going to look with the die template in there like that. Let's take a look how it's going to look. Beyond the Solar Storm, three, okay, so that one's fine. Three to 18 electrical damage and target bleeds for one to eight bleed damage. Those can be lowercase, they don't need to be uppercase. So that's good. It just puts text in, it doesn't actually change that any. Good. Insight bonus to jump. How does this work? Misc effects, reinforce fists. Ah, see, I don't like that. That one that shouldn't look like that. So what we're going to do there is we're going to fix that by substituting that. Helpless paralysis poison, then d6 dex damage. So this is going to be die, 1 d6 dex damage. Okay, that's the show preview. Let's show changes. This gives you much more detail of what's actually going to change, especially when you're substituting stuff. Okay. So I really don't like the way that misc effects substitutes in like that. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up and edit.
Misc effect. Misc effects. And we are looking for reinforced fists. These should be alphabetical. So R, M, P, R, reinforced fists, pop up to reinforced fists. So it should look like Boom. All right, show changes. <coughs> now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to LC1. And we're going to default it to page name if it's not defined. We're going to change this to soul of the elements. Tet T E C. Show changes. We're going to copy this real quick. And we actually put the pipes like this. Then we actually make sure that we always have a default Unknown malt monk effect. Actually, page name isn't going to help there. So we can actually get rid of that. But we do want to leave it piped like that. And we can do one of these. If one is empty, then unknown monk effect. Otherwise, this and actually since we got this going on we can actually go like this and wrap the whole thing in it because none of that should show if it's if there's nothing to find we should make an undefined effect undefined monk effect okay there we go. And then we're going to do another example. And we're going to 
uh, show changes so I can copy the tid tid tech zid ah. Zik Enlightened Change. I want to show what that one looks like. Make it examples. And 1001. Show preview. There we go. Now, Reinforced Fist will be updated when it when it shows up, save page when we save it. So now this one will show as reinforced fists. Excellent. I don't know what this box is about though. What's that box about? Oh. Unknown Monk Effect. And the switch. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Now that's fixed. Excellent. And that'll wrap up our stream for today. I think we got a fair amount of stuff done. We unfortunately did not make it to um, not even 10 viewers today. So I'm going to actually set the um, the goal for number of attendees to 10 for next week. Set that there. I'm gonna post that in the in that channel. We're going to post that in DDO stream. I'm going to post it in the shoe store. In the Dungeons and Dragons online channel. Alrighty. Look forward to seeing everybody next week. Have a great week, everyone.